Hello guys, what's going on? Textus Gaming here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make light bars on Click Team Fusion 2.5. I am. I don't know whether to do it with a character or whether I should continue it. Next. Yeah, let's do it with a character. Uh, so we're just going to create two actives like this. Like the last tutorial that I did drum double yeah double jumping. We're gonna stretch that one out and change it to be orange. Although I think it was green in my last tutorial. Okay. So this is going to be our character. Actually make three actives. And then go into one and make it like a really bad spike. Well, don't make it really bad if you want to make it good, but there we go. We now have a spike. Okay, so we've got our player, uh, our active, uh, our platform, and our spike. And then you're going to double click and get a count counter. Yeah. Okay. Now for the counter, you want to click on it and go down to uh, display. No. Yeah, this. Go to settings, which is the red tick. And where it says numbers, change it to horizontal bar. And then where it says from right, change that to from left. This is basically what our life bar is. And if you want to improve it, you can change it from solid colour to gradient and change colour one to be green. So you'll start in green life and slowly, sorry, that's the wrong way around. Or is it? You're going. Initial value is going to be 10, and minimum value is 0, and maximum is 10. Um, yeah, that is the wrong way around. Okay. Um, Go into your event, oh yeah, event editor, no actually, you need to set your character to be on platform movement, like that. Now go to your event editor, control E, or just click on it up here, and do new condition, character, collisions, another object, floor, uh, character, movement, stop. And then do new condition, character, collisions, another object, spike. Um, go to your counter, subtract from counter 1 and do new condition every 1 second add to the counter 1. This should work. So there we go, we've got uh, our life up here and then there you've taken 1, you've taken 1 and it takes no way if you hit it. Maybe that time is too short. Maybe I should change it to be five seconds. Okay, so there we go. You hit the spike, hit the spike again. If you sit on the spike, it will deduct. Actually, it just keeps your life exactly the same. So if we, do, if you keep hitting spikes, then your life will go right down. Now you're probably realizing that's not killing me now that the count is on zero. So do where it says character collision spike do under the character change to be destroyed so now that was the wrong thing um <laughs> that was a mistake so delete where it says way up after destroy and put new condition the counter compared to the value is equal to 10 uh destroy Sorry, that wants to be zero, not ten. Okay, there we go. Now press F8, and if you hit the spike, it will take your life off. And when we hit zero, we're destroyed. So that's a basic life bar, guys. I hope this tutorial helped you, and we'll be continuing. Should we continue next time, or should we? Yeah, we'll continue next time and put in a gun and that gun will be like a turret on 
an enemy and it will always target us and try and kill us but we can hide behind obstacles so that should be good so I'll see you then bye